it's easy to say, you know, I believe in oneness. I believe in positive outcomes. I believe in um, wholeness and in moving forward and peace. I believe in uh, gratitude and connection and service. It's easy to say all of these things. I trust. I believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe there's a divine hand guiding me through life. Like it's easy to say these things. Well, what does that actually mean? That means that in any moment, when things don't look like you understand them or they're confusing or they don't look like they're going your way or something you really want, it doesn't look like it's shaken out the way you wanted it to. It means that in those moments, those things come through you as expressions of truth, as expressions of trust, as expressions of, I may not understand everything that's happening here, but I know what I believe. I know where my center is. I will choose peace now and I will continue to persevere. And it's not denial. It's not a bypass of hard things. It's saying that, yes, the hard things happen and they can happen even when I'm doing everything that I believe I'm supposed to be doing spiritually. That is part of life, that it's natural. It's part of life's unfoldment. And if I can trust that what's happening is happening for me, not to me, and that there are things that I don't know. I do not know everything, but it's quite possible that something better is coming for me or that this is a lesson that I needed to learn or that this is the time that I needed to grow through or that this is what my soul needed, that I will continue to persevere and give my gifts and continue to believe that my life is good, that this this will not move me. I will still continue to trust and flow in the pattern that I believe is in, in line with the way I was created and the life I'm here to live. That's mastery. That's, that's a, where we need to go in order to actually navigate a real life. Because these small spiritual principles that a lot of, uh, different religions all teach it in a different way. And a lot of new age religion, a lot of self-help teaches it like, you know, the instant, like we'll do this and then it comes out great. And if it didn't come out great, it's obviously because you didn't do it right. That's not a way to live. That's not the world. That's not the life. That's not what being human is. Being human is being able to navigate the storms and the difficulties and the challenges while still holding a core essential knowing that life is flowing through me. I'm a child of creation. I belong here. That anything that happens can be used for my upliftment or someone else's. And I'm going to persevere and release the things that aren't, that I'm not going to struggle for to keep them or make them mine or stay where it's not good for me or try to convince somebody to do it differently or try to convince somebody to do what what I want them to do, even though it may be in their best interest to do something else, maybe in their spiritual path or plan to do something else. It's really about settling in and doing your best while you surrender and let the universe do the rest. If you believe that, because we all hear that and go, oh my goodness, yes, right? I will show up. I will do my best. I will let the universe take care of the rest. I will flow in life. I will trust and I will move with a heart filled with love. We say that, oh my God, that sounds amazing. That sounds wonderful. And then it gets hard and we want to do all the opposite. I know better than God. I'm going to clutch this. I'm going to try to get them to do this. I'm going to try to change that. I'm not going to let that go. I know that this is a miserable situation, but there might it might not get any better out there. So I'm going to stay in this terrible way. I'm not going to trust. I'm not going to act like there's a loving force guiding my life at all. That's when it matters. Not when it all feels good and it's a warm, sunny day. It's easy to say all the wonderful things then. But can you live it? Can you live it when things don't go the way your mind thinks they should in that moment? And that is really you coming into spiritual mastery.